Hi everyone. So the next thing we are going to do for the Dollar Tree meals is we are going to go ahead and make this jello. And that will do for some desserts to kind of bulk up our meals a little bit and also for some snacks. So I bought two packages of the strawberry jello brand jello. No artificial sweeteners, no high fructose corn syrup. So we're going to start by putting both of our packets in the bowl. We're waiting for the water to boil. Okay, and I'll be back when it boils. Okay, I grabbed that tea kettle as fast as it started to make any sound. My husband's still in there sleeping, and I do not want to wake him up. Okay, we're going to add two cups of boiling water. Okay, and then... We're going to set a timer for two minutes, and we are going to stir this non-stop for the two minutes. Make especially sure that you're getting into the little crevice at the bottom of the bowl, because that will set down in there and get real rubbery. All right, I'll be back in the two minutes. Okay, our timer's gone off, and now we need two cups of cold liquid. Now, you remember the peaches that we had with breakfast. I have drained the juice off of those, and I have those in this measuring cup. And now I'm going to add enough cold water to make two cups. Okay, now we've got the two cups in, and what we are going to do is stir this up really well again. We love jello done like this. Usually we use fruit cocktail, but they just had the peaches, so I'm sure it'll be delicious. It's one of our favorite things. We usually have it on like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, that kind of stuff. Okay, I've got that mixed in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the refrigerator and in a couple hours I'm going to check it and if it's about half set up, then at that point I'm going to dump all these peaches in and stir it in and let it finish setting up and we will have jello with fruit in it and it is so, so, so good. I can't wait. Like I say, I've never had this combination but I know it'll be awesome. All right, I'll see you in a couple hours. Okay, this is what I mean by starting to set. And we'll just go ahead and put our peaches right in there. And stir. And then I'll put it back in the fridge to finish setting up. Okay, our next Dollar Tree meal is going to be the instant mashed potatoes and the pot pies. And then we will have the jello for dessert. Okay, let me just say before we even start, I'm a Mainer. I'm a potato girl and I don't generally use instant potatoes. Very, very rare do I use them. So they're not my favorite, but they are okay in a pinch. But I do a few things to them that I think bumps them up a little. So the first thing, because I'm a Mainer, we want a good amount of potatoes with this. So my husband and I will be eating it. So instead of the two servings, I've learned to double that. So we're going to make four servings. 
So we need one and a third cups of water. And then we need one half a teaspoon of salt. And then we need two tablespoons of butter. Now, as a reminder, my husband is allergic to the Dollar Tree butter margarine, the Imperial margarine. So I am gonna use regular butter, but you go ahead and use your Dollar Tree Imperial margarine. All right, and then it tells us that we need two-thirds a cup of milk. And I have my Dollar Tree milk here. Now we're going to get that turned on medium heat and we're going to need to bring it to a boil. I'm going to add, just to bump this up a little bit, I'm going to add some pepper, a good amount of it. Now, I will use some spices in these videos, but I will not use any spices that Dollar Tree doesn't have. That way, you're, I'm not using a spice that you can't get if you don't already have it from there. Okay, so here's a Dollar Tree parsley. And I like to put a little bit of that in there. And then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of onion powder. Just the lightest little sprinkle across the top. All right, and I'll be back when this is boiling. Okay, that's getting ready to boil. Now, what I do with these is I add the amount of flakes that it calls for but if the consistency isn't the same as my homemade mashed potatoes, then I will sprinkle it with a few more until I get that consistency. For people that are new to the channel, I grew up in potato country here in Maine, and I'll link a video in the description box of me getting my winter potatoes this year up in the area where I grew up at. All right, let's shut this off and go ahead and add our potato flakes. Okay, this particular brand turned out just fine. It's nice and thick. Okay, I am going to put a cup.
cover on these and we're just going to microwave those pies but that will keep the potato hot while we're doing that Okay, here they are. My husband is having two chicken and broccoli, and I am having a beef. And I said this in the grocery haul, but I'll say it again. If you're feeding small children, plan on half a pie for them. Plan on one pie for adults. But if your husband is a big eater, plan on two for him. And I like my pie cooked in the microwave five and a half minutes. My husband likes his cooked five minutes. Now, all I do with these to prevent them making a mess in case they boil over is I go ahead and open the end of the box and I slip my knife in there and I cut along the side seam. And then I repeat on the other side. Then I fold this back and it creates like a tray. And then I go ahead and poke all my little holes in to try to help it from boiling over. Sometimes they still do. Okay, in the microwave for five minutes, it's gonna go. Here's Corey, as you can see, it's a big plate of food. Okay, here's my plate. Now, this is not a stretch for me at all as far as the pot pie. I know I love these. We eat them frequently. I usually just make a baked regular potato with it, but this is gonna be good and I know it. This meal was a hit, it was very good. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos.